Yes, guys, it's Romella, and today mm. I'll be. <laughs> Yes guys, it's Romello and today I'll be doing a drift build on the Ford Falcon. I can't wait to do this drift build because from the, ep was it this, ep yeah, the ep last episode that we like, we was drifting around the corners and it was a proper, proper one. But then I saw in the comments, you lot told me to turn on uh, traction control while I was drifting. So I'm going to do that now. But before we get into this drift build, I'm going to tell you something amazing that happened. Basically guys, I was playing online with my friends, Forza Horizon 3, we were just messing around driving about. I got, I won three wheel spins, so I do the three wheel spins, I win two Horizon Edition cars and a Camaro. So I'm going to show you these now. So, if we go into it, you'll see I've got the Horizon Edition BAC Mono Horizon Edition. But I was like, yo! My first ever Horizon Edition car, it was amazing! And then, you go over to the big bad boy, the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 Horizon Edition. Oh my gosh, it's just so sick. And then we won the Camaro. I was like, yay! So that was really good, because I was hyped because I won the um, uh, a Corvette and the BAC Mano and the Ch Chevrolet. So, time to begin the drifting. Before we start guys, can this episode reach 12,000 likes? Be amazing. I mean almost at 100,000 subscribers. That'll be absolutely crazy. Then I'll be getting my silver play button because Tegas Kid already has one. Before we start building up the drift car, let's test it out stock. And then we'll see what's wrong with the, um, the car. So guys, it's time to drive. It's just around the corner to this parking lot. But before we do this, Let's take off traction control. Oh, it's gonna be amazing, you know. So it's settings, then it's difficulty. Is it? Wait, traction control. Traction control off. There we go. So we should be able to like drift better. Whoa. That was a little hard then. Oh, steady. Actually feels like a proper car now. Oh, there we go. We just crashed straight into a Lamborghini event school. The BMW right behind. And the parking lot is just here. So if we turn left here. Whoa, sorry. So it's here, guys. And basically, you just drift around here. So let me show you. Whoa. And basically, you just drift. See, I told you guys this car is a drift car. Look at it. Boss, see, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm in Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious. Oh, oh, the skills, the skills. Oh, so guys, I, I feel it feels great already. It's like I don't have to do no, um, uh, no tunes to it. But I think, I think it needs a little bit handling, like, m make sure it don't spin off. Because, look, if I but it just spins out completely so so guys what we're gonna do with this car we're gonna put some handling on well, well make the handling better and then we should add a little bit more power into the car because it's not it's not it's look it's getting slower on the corner see that it just spins out so handling and power that's the two things we need to create this into a uh, drifting car. We're also going to put some additional mods onto it like spoilers or bumpers which will make the car nice. So, let's take this to the festival. So guys, we are almost at the place. Oh my gosh, that board's so nice. Oh, that's pretty nice that is. So let's see if we can actually get into the Surface Paradise Festival side. Yes we can, let's enter. And it's time to tune up the car. So guys, since this needs a lot more power, we're going to map well put some valves on it so we make it better. So there we go, it's increasing the power by how much? By 13 horsepower. Not bad. It's making it faster, it's making it more powerful. So we're gonna equip that into the basket and we also put in um adding cooling uh, cooling. Can't say that properly. 
it might it may look like it's gonna it's gonna look down but we're obviously gonna uh, equip the handling so it's gonna be a lot better also puts the power up as well so that's good so there we go that's done with the engine should be a lot more powerful then we're going to the handling brakes might as well put that in might make it like not slidey not that slidey how the springs going on well actually it's making the handling better acceleration and launch might not we might not need that because it's a drift car so we're not going to be racing around so we'll equip that there we go and it's the uh, weight reduction that's going to help a lot so ooh, what did I press? there we go so we're going to here the weight minus 368 kilograms that is a lot and the handling is increasing a lot so 11,000 the, that's the total cost and we've got 1.5 million in a bank that's a lot that's a lot of money i could i could buy a laugh ride with that but i'm obviously not because that means all my money is going to go check out the tie compound because it's going to be make it like a, a lot more driftier and stuff so we are going to put on if you put that it's going to change into a drift car i mean a race car straight away so we are going to put on we we'll put on street tires, we we'll put on street tires. Then since it's a rear wheel drive, we'll add Yeah, we'll add uh, 295 mm, I don't know what that means. So we we'll add them. Should make it nice. We'll leave the tires like that because I love them. Now it's time for the air on appearance. The speed goes down, but the handling gets a lot bit, a little bit better. So we won't do that, but let's have a look at with the wings. Ooh. Removing the wing makes it a lot better. No, the good thing to do. Oh nah. I feel like I should just keep. I just just keep it the same. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. It's just gonna just keep it stuck. So we'll keep the body stuck, but it's gonna be a lot better. Let's check with. Can I put turbos? No, you cannot put a turbo on this car. So we're not going to do that. Let's buy this and check it out and see how good it is because I think we'll be able to well after after we uh, drifted around the parking lot we might be able to drift around on the street come show me what you've got it feels a lot powerful it feels a lot powerful the handling's better as well because I can turn more yes yes I've done the right thing guys I've done the right thing with equipping the valves and the oil cooling and then putting the sport tyres on and then adding um, the make, making the the rear tyres a lot wider see it breaks so it breaks perfectly with a little bit of sliding which you kind of want with a drift car let's see if we can just wait oh kind of messed up that drift there yes 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 Guys, I've done it! I've done it! Let's shit wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Good Falcon, stop it! Allow it, allow it! This is nice! This is nice! So we'll shift it down, quick drift, go around the lamppost, all the way around, all the way around like it's nothing, like it's nothing. And we'll go around over here, let's quickly drift around from here, and let's turn here, guys! Oh my gosh, this car is sick! This car is sick! And then we'll turn all the way around here. Ugh. Oh snap! Oh my gosh, this car is amazing. This car is amazing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know I'd done some damage then. Didn't look like it, guys. Guys, I've done it. I've made my a very own drift car. Oh, sorry, I crashed. It sounds nice as well. So if I stop the car here, listen to the sound. That sounds nice. So let's let's see if we can try and drift around the whole thing. So we will drive here. And let's start from here. Come on car, come on car, come on car, come on car. Shift down. There you go. Wait. Oh. That, oh, I forgot to press the e-brake now. There we go, there we go. Nice shifting, nice shifting, hold it in there. Cars will not let go of the gas, let the gold gas. And let's carry on with the drift. Shift down. Let's drive, let's drive, let's drive. Let go of the gas. 
go down let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go guys i'm so sick of, like i feel so powerful with this car like drifting and that like, i just feel so sick like in next like in some well in another episode i might take this out online see how it, it's good against with other drifting cars if i could join a drifting uh, server if i can if i can that'd be a really good episode because i'll see which car is best my car or the other guys cars that would be a good good episode so it's, it's really good it's really really good a little bit slightly but it's raining in it so what do you expect but i wonder how it is on dry concrete so once so we've done with the parking lot now haven't we so we might as well take this out to the street shouldn't we so let's head out to the street see if we can drift around this tiny corner here without hitting that car there we go let's drift around here Ooh. oh sauce car that's a ford that, that looks like this car yes nice drift nice drift hold it in there there we go oh i feel so proud of myself making my own drift car oh my gosh that Ferrari then you almost hit into me let's drift around here yes oh my gosh this car is so sick oh my gosh oh i feel like i can just like let go Oh, let's see if we can drift around the roundabout, guys. So, I, I, where's the roundabout? We come down here, we turn right. I'm pretty sure. Let's drift around here. Ooh. The traction control helps a lot. A lot. And it's more powerful. So, once I just step on the gas, it's just going to go straight. As I said, that McLaren. That's a McLaren. Oh, I just can't. That's a McLaren. Oh, it's, a, it's on the top of my head. That's a McLaren 650 or a 7, no, a 570. It's a 650 because the 570, the spoiler does not like, because um, the spoiler does not like fly up because it doesn't have a spoiler actually. But the 650, oh, crash does have one and this is the this is the one that I'm on but so if we put this into first move move right so let's go let's oh so I was come on let's drift oh not enough power let's go oh this car ain't got enough power so guys I'm gonna show you what we want from the wheel spin. So it was a Corvette and a BAC mono. We ain't gonna do no upgrades to it. We're just gonna drive to the festival and we're gonna have a quick drive around with them. And then we're gonna end the episode here with our beautiful drift car. It's amazing. I can't believe I created my own drift car, which actually is successful. So let's quickly grab this XP board because he, he would wanna drive away from an XP board. So let's drive to the festival site. Go on, go on. Mad drifting. Mad drifting straight away. Tina Tuna. That's a long name. I don't, I don't know who made up that name. That's a long name. And a crash. See if we can drift around here. So I was sort of wrecking that lamppost. Let's drift around here. We're almost at the festival site, guys. I've never been down this road before. Never. That looks like I just drove past the XP board there. It didn't show up on much, so I didn't. And a beautiful drift. Absolutely beautiful. See if we can do one around here. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Nice. Oh. The back end almost went then. Come on. The high speed on this was 167, I think. Obviously, it's going to be a lot, um, a lot faster because I put more power onto it. What's going on here? Whoa, whoa! Traction control. Uh, my bad. So we will whip out 
the BAC Mono first and have a quick drive around, then go into the Corvette. And there you go, we're done for this episode. I can't believe this drift car. I'm so lucky that I have VIP. Oh my gosh, I'm so gassed around this car. So, the BAC Mono. Mon B B A C Mono. Oh my gosh, I was like, BAC Mono. I was like, what's that? So, let's see how this is. I've got to turn traction control on. Cause this is, a, is like a track toy car, so if the traction control ain't on in this, there's nothing I can do. So, go back. I actually like the car because the car is automatically keyed up. Let's do this. Oh, oh, it's a little bit wet. This car feels nice. See if we can drift it. Nah, not like the Ford though. Ford, the Ford. I think the Ford's got the, the uh, best drifting in, in, in my garage. It's like it's, the handling's too good on it. Oh, but I love the car. I love the car. I'm curious. Is this a credit boost car? It's a credit boost car or drift, uh, drift boost car? Drift, drift skill? I'm not sure. Let's check. I can check if it's a drift, uh, drift skill. But I don't think this is good for drifting. Oh, that's a Ferrari. That's an, is, is it? I think it. No, is it? I think it's a Ferrari GTO. No, is. No, it's not. No, just, 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 just no, just no. So, it's all right. Handling wise, it's really good. So, oh my gosh! Didn't mean to press the e-brake then. Got to reverse. Beep, beep. Beep. There we go. Let's go. Time to test out the Corvette. Apparently, the Corvette's really good. We're drifting, but hopefully, it's not better than the Ford Falcon. Because I put money into this. How much was it? It was around like 13 grand. I put into that Ford Falcon. So, so guys, I just equipped the Corvette. Time to test it on the road and see if it's better than a Ford Falcon at drifting. Hopefully. Cause I know I know this car costs quite a lot. I think I think it's good. Let's see if we can drift. Oh, I think it's I think it's better than the Ford Falcon. Oh, guys, com comment down below which is better at drifting, this Corvette or the Ford Falcon that I just uh, kitted up. I'm pretty sure this car is better than better at drifting. It is? Nah, don't lie. I can't believe this. Oh, that nah, the, the, wait, this is for, no, it's rear wheel drive, isn't it? It's a muscle car. I shouldn't know that. Really. Silly me. Oh, what just happened to my rear wheel? Oh, the rubber wee bit just came off there. I'll be able to fix that. So it is really good, well not really good, it's not the full Falcon standard, it is kind of. But I love, I love the car, like the Horizon Edition wheels. Look, can you see just there, the black looks, looks nice on this. So guys, I'm going to finish this episode here. This was a really, really good episode because the drift build, testing out the Horizon Edition cars, me kitting up the Ford Falcon, it was a really, really good episode. And I can't believe that the Ford Falcon is such a boss, boss drifter. It's like I, I come around the corner and it will just carry on drifting and carry on drifting until I press the brake. I am going to try and upload daily because I think you lot are loving these Forza videos and you, you are showing me the likes that I want. Like you're giving me over, you're giving me more likes than I asked for. That's just really good. And that's making me want to do more Forza videos for you. So thank you so much for doing this. And the goal was 12,000 likes. And I know you guys are going to do it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Peace.